Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel Keep Learning. Today we are going to learn the topic of Compare Data with Hash. You will get the lab manual from the description. The objective of this experiment is what is hash technique and you learn use of hashing program to verify the integrity of a data. So before starting the experiment, let us learn about the hashing. So what is hashing? Hashing is basically the process of converting an input of any length into a fixed size of string of a text using a mathematical function. So here we will take some input, we add some mathematical function and then we'll create a fixed size text file. So here we can see that the input, it can be a short, it can be a very long input. We will add some hashing function which are available and then it will create a unique text value with a fixed size. So these are the hashing technique right now available in the market. Very famous is MD2, MD5, SHO1 and SHA512. So you choose any hashing technique but you must take care about few quality. So this quality are like it must have a unique hash value. That means that hash value must be one in the entire world for your text or for your data. It must be having the high speed. Obviously it must be a secure it is a irreversible process where we are going to use this hash technique currently in blockchain it is used in transaction information like amount address timestamp that means in transaction id these are the secured information in authentication we are using that means to transmit the password from client to domain and in documentation transmission or in software downloading we are also using hashtag now let us perform the experiment from the downloading, you will get these two files. This one is a student manual. This one is a manual with the answer. So let me open the file and explain the experiment and then we will perform the experiment. So here our task is to compare the data with hash. So by uh, comparing the data, we will verify the integrity which is required in terms of security. So here what happened when you transmit some data, when you download some file, there is a possibility that it can be corrupted or it has been tampered. Tampered that means someone has changed it. Someone is trying to add some other data. So here this hashing program can be used to verify it. What it will do? It will convert our data into one very small value. Right. So now we can compare this value which is transmitted from the transmitter side and received at the receiver side. So what you required? So first of all, we will create a text file. So let us create the text file. Uh, save this text file with the name has. Write anything in the text file like I am Didi Jala. This is lab experiment. Okay, now close this file. Yes, obviously save the data. Now let us follow the manual. It says uh, save the file with the hash name. So that we have already done. Now install the hash calculator. So hash calculator is basically one software. So you can download from the link. Uh, you will find hash calculator over here. You can click on a download. It will getting start downloading. Once it get download, you can install it. So you can see that the major future are mentioned over here. Now let us open the file let me extract into the folder i have set up now let me install it so now here you will get a setup which is a hash kelsey you can find the data format you can upload the data from here you can select any of the hashing technique you can see it is md5 md4 sha and many other technique are given and then you can calculate the hash value so now let us follow the lab menu we have already installed the software now uh, uh, hash calculator has been installed and it is running as we have seen that so now what we will do uh, set the data format as a file now upload your file okay let us upload the file I will go to the folder and I will select the file hash file. I will click it. Now here uh, as per the instruction don't select everything uh, and select only first one md5 and then give the calculate. Okay. 
So by click on the calculate, you will find some string. So now this is your hash value for the text file. So you can copy paste over here. Let me copy paste my hash value file. So this is my hash value. Let me highlight with the red text. Now make some changes into the hash file and again do the calculation. So let me open my text file. Let me change my name with the DD Jala at scratch code. So now again I will save the changes. I will again upload the file. So I have again uploaded it. I have selected the MD5 again and I will give a calculate. So here this is the another value. So let me paste it over here. Now I need to compare these two files. See this file as the last value is AB. Here this file is the last value of C4. So you can see that once you do any modification that hash value is going to be changed. That means if your data has been corrupted or it has been changed by someone you can find it by checking the hash value. So now what you can do you can calculate uh, the hash value uh, with the different technique and you can compare it so you will get some idea. So now let us do it. Uh, let us check for the MD4, SHA1 and SHA512 which are my favorite. So for every uh, technique I am getting the different hash value and this is how you can verify the hash value and you can make the authentication. So that is the purpose of this experiment. How to calculate the hash value for your document, for your software, for your text file and how to verify it. hash technique. Hope you like this video. If you have any question or doubt, please write down in the comment. We will meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye bye.